I would just like to state that this game is an adult game. I have edited it so that I believe it is suitable for my 10 year old son to watch, but viewer discretion is advised. Hey folks, it's Ridgar here, how you doing? Welcome to a brand new series of Prison Architect. All we've got is this. I don't, I don't really know very much about this game, but I've had quite a number of people asking me to play it. So we're going to go straight to Campaign and Death Row. That's, that's what we've got to start off with, is Death Row. We've been contracted to build an execution chamber at this prison in time for the scheduled execution of one of their inmates. So we're starting off pretty sort of grim, really, aren't we? Um... Yeah, I'm, I, I'm, I'm not really sure what to make of this. It's in at the deep end, this is. Definitely in at the deep end. Who have we got? What's going on? We've got Jerome. Swagvey. Can't see the names they're hiding under the beds. Uh, Joins. Rogers. That's the prison showers. Venning down there. What are these people doing? They're bringing in... Oh, they're bringing in new doors. New toilets, new doors. Building up new cells. This is looking good so far. No, I'm not going to skip. We're, we're, we're going to watch this. So, uh, who, who's the um, the unfortunate person who's going to be making use of this new chamber that we're supposed to be building? We've been contracted to building it. Dude, that was pretty impressive. The way, the way he sort of sailed over the top of that truck right there. I'm wondering if it might be this guy here. One with the, the priest is in there, reading him his last rites. That might be the dude in question. So what do we got to do? Incoming call from the CEO. This is a tough one. There's a prisoner incarcerated at this facility who's been convicted of a double murder and sentenced to death. That's where we come in. We've been contracted to construct an execution chamber in time for this guy's big day. Right. So it's our job. This is where I want the new facility to be built. The first step with any project like this is to construct the building itself with enough space inside to, fix an e uh, to fit an execution room and a holding cell. So let's get started. Construct a new building here. We'll also need an entrance to the new execution facility. Build a large jail door into the south wall. Right, so we've got to construct a building here to house the execution facility. Uh, I'm not doing that. What, what, what just happened there? Foundations? Well, I'm going to assume that we need foundations. We've got to do a large jail door there. Construct a building to house the execution facility. Build a large jail door entrance. So let's go with foundations here. Building brick. Building concrete. Let's go with brick. Oh, outdoor only? They're both out. Walls and doors and then objects. What have we got in here? Oh, that's the large jail door right there. And then walls and doors we've got... Wait, there's, a... there's another large jail door. They're both the same. Well, we don't want those, so we're going to... Let's let's go with brick, shall we? Oh, I see. We, we can... So we can zoom in and out like that. Can uh, WASD does move us around. That's fantastic. Do I just... Go like that. Requires entrance. So if, if I drop it down like that. Foundation in progress. Incoming call. Have I done this wrong? Have I, have I made it? Have I made a boo-boo? You are workmen are responsible for the construction of buildings. Well, that's good. Because you don't want to you don't want to give me any responsibilities. Now collect the steel and concrete from this storeroom and take it to the construction site. They'll use those raw materials to build the foundations and framework of your new building. This is the slowest part of construction, so you should plan ahead when building new facilities. While we wait, take a look around. Use the WASD or the arrow keys to move around and use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Okay, well let's zoom out. There we go, we've got the whole facility right here. We can have a little zoom around. We've got the shower block right there. Wasn't there another shower block? Oh yeah, there was. There was one down over here. And, and we've got a whole load of different people in here. Prisoner. Wait, what? Ah. Psychologist required to show needs. Cell quality 1 is below average. Paul Venning, 21. Gareth Schaefer, 20. 
Doesn't show me anything in this one. I'm assuming that this is the dude who's been a bit naughty. Um, because, see, it's not showing anything up with that one. Over here, I've got Chaz. Apparently, you used to be able to get your name in the game, but they they discontinued that only just recently so that they could concentrate more on producing updates and stuff. Um, I only just found that out. So I'm kind of wishing I'd started playing this game six months ago. And maybe there could have been a prisoner called Frithgar wandering around, waiting to go into the new facility we're building here. I'm not sure that would be a good thing. Right. Um, construct, a, construct a building to house execution facility. Well, I've, I've done all of the, the foundations in progress. How are they still in progress? I've, I've, I've done it now. Double left click to follow this workman carrying staff key. Well, they don't seem to be doing anything else. I think we're, I think we're done. We, we do need to... Oh, wait a minute. Go here. Building concrete. It's still showing that bit. I did all the outside, didn't I? We've got foundation. Let's, let's try... Remove tunnels. I wasn't planning to have tunnels, was I? Large jail. Let's drop in foundations in... Pro can I put that one in? There. Okay, Q doesn't get rid of it. Right click. That doesn't get rid of it. Escape gets rid of it. Right. Might be another button as well. Useful items. Well, I've got the large jail door. There he goes. He's, he's going to drop in the large... Uh, con um, he's putting in the, the jail door right there. But what next? There doesn't seem to be a lot here. Right. It's... Nice. Oh, I see. You had to put that one in in order to be able to finish it. So it all had to be done. Right. Inside the building, I want to sell and an execution room. Petition the space by constructing some brick walls. I can do that. Even I can cope with this. Right, brick wall right there. I want to go like that. There. I want one there. One there and one there. What's what's that bit though? I'm assuming I'm assuming he's putting in some like we've got that bit there. Does he E zooms out and Q zooms in. So how do I get rid of this? That also zooms in and out. If I right-click, it doesn't get rid of it. I can click on that. I, I prefer there to be another button rather than just escape to be able to do this. It always seems to work better if you, you don't just have to use escape. Right here, everybody's on lunch at the moment. Except for our dude down here. It's this guy here. He, it, at least he does look sorry for his crimes. But he committed a terrible crime. It's not, our, it's not our job to pass judgment. It's only our job to ensure that the justice that was meted out according to the rules of his country, um, it, it, it needs to be done... It needs to be done efficiently. It needs to be done safely. And it needs to be done as, as humanely as possible. That's, that's all we can say on the subject. Right. Now add large jail doors to those dividing walls. You can rotate an object before placement by clicking the middle mouse button or press R. I'm probably going to press R. It's a lot easier than clicking the because you end up sort of slipping on the mouse button. Yeah, not really though, do you? It's, it's, it's like, honestly, it's, it's, it's not that difficult. There we go. So we've got that bit right there. And then I escape like that. Build internal doors. You know, it's just two internal doors right there. So we've got the dude here. I'll tell you what. These workmen, they're not to be underestimated, these workmen. Right? They are absolutely not to be underestimated at all. See them wandering around with these great big cell doors? That is quite impressive. I once knew someone who, you know, the massive great big steel cattle grids you get into the ground. Um, they kind of look like these large jail doors. And someone had left... Oh, hang on. This, that's looking good. We now need to designate rooms within those spaces. Designate a cell in a smaller area where our condemned inmate will live. Then designate the execution room in the l itself in the larger area. Okay, so we go to rooms like that. I see. Right, so we've got cell where your prisoners live. Room requirements, minimum size 2 by 3 enclosed, surrounded by walls and doors, indoors, bed and toilet. So do I... Right. We have no bed and we have no toilet. We failed. We failed, Frithgar. Failed at the first hurdle. And failed because we don't have an electric chair. These new rooms have requirements before they become functional. The cell needs a bed and a toilet. The execution room requires the electric chair. 
Right, so we've got to pop those into there. Um, yeah, so anyway, the, the cattle grid, they look a bit like these cell doors. Um, the person who was having it installed, it was just let, leaned up against the, the, the person who delivered it. They turned up with their lorry and they took it off with a great big crane and leaned it against the wall out by the road. And the lady who owned the place, she said, well, what, what, what isn't it going to be stolen out there? And the man who was driving the lorry looked at her and he said, look, tell you what, love. If you see someone trotting down the road with that tucked under his arm, best just leave him get on with it. <laughs> That's much the same as these doors right here. I mean, these these, these dudes here, they're, they're absolutely incredible. They're just wandering along with those cell doors tucked under their arms. I ain't arguing with them. There's no way. I'm not, I'm not arguing with anything. If they, if they want something, I shall simply say yes, sir. How many do you want, sir? That's all I'm going to be doing. I'm not, I'm not going to be arguing with them. Absolutely not. Right, we've got four beds and one toilet here. Why do I need four beds? I need one. Um, I see. So I can have I can have my head up near the toilet if I want to. I, I'm thinking probably not up against the, the, you know, your head up near the toilet. That's probably a little bit much. And we'll put the toilet in here. And we'll put the toilet right down in the corner down there. Not a lot of privacy, it's got to be said. Your, your privacy is really sort of infringed upon when you commit a double murder. There's a lesson to be learned here, ladies and gentlemen. Don't commit a double murder, and then you'll be able to maintain your privacy at all times. Right. Let's get rid of that. I thought this was my money. That's not my money. That's my money. I've got $600,000. I don't need to run a prison anymore. I'm rich. I'm going to retire. Right. You're on your own, folks. I'm, I'm out. I'm retiring. I'm, I'm done. I'm finished. And... 119 cash flow. And I have a steady income of like three, well, $2,877 per day. That's insane. It's genuinely insane. Where is my bed and where is, is this, I'm missing something here. Oh, it's my bed in the toilet. Where are they? Oh, they're coming from out here. We've got materials coming in over here. Look, I've got um, store ingredients in the fridge. What is that? <gasps> look! You know what that is. Look at it. Look. Look at the wavy stripes. Look at the wavy stripes. That's bacon. He's got bacon. Dude. They've got bacon. I didn't think that. I d okay. Okay, I'm rethinking this whole prison thing. That's the essentials taken care of, but there are still a few improvements that you could make. It's up to you, though. These aren't strictly required. It depends on how much you care about your prisoners and their environment. But what? Do we just put, like, a little picture of a cat with a hang in there sort of poster type thing on the wall? You know the cat hanging on the washing line that says hang in there underneath? Inspirational poster? Do we... Do we... I know, it seems like it'd be out of place It's <laughs> somewhere like this. The cell itself could be improved with an outward-facing window and a small bookshelf. How about the execution room? And the facility would look better with a higher quality floor material like wooden floorboards or mosaic tiles. Outside, you could add some lighting and a paved pathway if you think it needs it. Ooh. I had no, I told you. It was that dude right there. I told you he was the one. This is the man in question. Edward Romsey. A teacher once, would you believe? It's not our place to decide if he deserves this. The law has made that decision. We're just here to do a job. Once you're satisfied the facility is ready, you can begin the prisoner transfer to his new cell. Simply click on the Polaroid in his cell to initiate the transfer. Right, well, we won't be doing that just yet. We're going to do some optional stuff because, like he said, it's not our place to decide if he deserves it or otherwise. It is our place to ensure that... Um, it's carried out and I would say it's our place to ensure that it is carried out to the best of our abilities now I gotta be honest if I was the dude walking in here I wouldn't be all that concerned about what the floor pattern was so I, I'd say that's probably the least important part but I mean a book definitely a bookshelf in his cell that that's that's definitely something I think that you would want where are we going to put this old bookshelf? We'll put the bookshelf there. We, that 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 is a, a definite. I think you're putting a bookshelf in there. That that is definitely something that you'd want. Um, add a window to the cell. Yes, that is another definite. So which way round? Oh, just like that. Yeah, we'll put one up here. 
out on that side. He's not then looking out towards other things and so on. He's, he's got a little bit of solitude here. Then on the other hand, maybe he does want to see people. I mean, if it was me, I'm not sure I'd want to be seeing people knowing that that was coming up. So we'll just leave it like that there. Um, redo the flooring with higher quality materials. Build a path to the new facility. Create some outdoor lighting around the facility. Right, well, we'll let's, let's do some outdoor lighting. I don't know where the path needs to go. Does it, does it, go, oh, does it go along here, does it? Maybe, oh, from there I would say over and then up this way perhaps. So if I put a light there and a light there, may, maybe that would be enough. Well, no, I've, I've got two lights at the moment. I'm going to put a light near his cell wall there. And then I'm going to do another light on that side as well. And we'll put one right there just to even it up. So it's, it's like runs around in a square. That's either side of a footpath there. Uh, so I've done some outdoor lighting. I added a window to the cell, but that one's not. Oh, there it is. There's the window. It's coming in. And next we want to go to flooring. So we've got paving stone right here. And that is going to go down to there like that. And then I'm going to go... One, two, and I'm going to do a path along there as well. So I've now got the paving slabs in. I'm putting this bit down here so that there's paving there. It goes into the storage area. Plus, we've got this one over here. Some more lights. Where's the lights? They're under objects, are they? Yes, light. Right. Light is right. We'll put one down there. I've already got one over there. So I'll put one on that corner there. And I'll put one up on that corner. So I've got plenty of lights all the way along. Actually, we're going to have one more over here. That's that's out of line then. If I if I put them down here, if I put one there, it's in it's it's out of line. It seems wrong. How do you sell something? I I want to get rid of that one now. It shouldn't be there. It should be one there instead, either side of the footpath. That's where we need them to be. So I want one there and one there. And I can't have one there because it it doesn't fit. Look, it's not on the corner, but. All right, we'll, we'll leave it. We'll, we'll just do it like that. I'm, I'm just going to do it like that. I'm not going to do any more. Let's not get too carried away with this. Redo the flooring. So we can go with crazy paving type stone. It's a ceramic floor, checkered floor, cargo, uh, iron floor. Good gravy, man. That's, that's a little bit kind of extreme, isn't it? He said we could do wooden flooring, didn't he? Oh, there, wooden floor right there. I'm thinking we go with the checkered floor like this. Look. There we go. Checkered floor in there. Now, do I have it? I'm going to put it matching in here, like this. So there's checkered floor all the way through. I'll put a little bit across there, and a little bit across there. And then the rest of it, the, the bit inside the cell, what should we do with that? We want it to be sort of, kind of... It needs to be calming, doesn't it? It does actually need to be calming. You don't want it to be kind of too harsh and unpleasant. Um, because the sentence is being carried out. There's no point in... We, we don't want to make him suffer unnecessarily. He's Yes, he's committed some terrible crimes. And now he's, 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 paying, he's paying the price for that. So it's not our job to make him suffer. It's not our job to do anything extra like that. What we're doing is we're trying to make his passing... His, we're, we're trying to make the process as painless for him as possible, really. That's, that's what we're after. Civilized. That's what we need to be, civilized. I'm going to... Let's try this mosaic floor here. Let's see what that looks like. we we'll go into there and see if that makes it a little better. I mean, this here... I'm not sure, but then I think that kind of fits the, the whole gravity of the situation. It's, um, I, I think it would be better. Let's just see what the, the, um, the mosaic floor is like. <laughs> I'm just putting down what I've already done. Um, I'm seriously considering fancy tiles in there. I don't think I will. No, we'll leave it like that. So I've, I've already done this. I don't need to. So, um, F to follow, right click to cancel. Don't need to put any more in because we've already done that. Okay, so that bit's all finished. That bit's all done and dusted. 
When you're done, begin the prison transfer by clicking on the Polaroid. So we've got to go click on that one down there. Incoming call. Here he goes. I can't remember his name now. It's done. It's going to be... Don't shed one tear for this guy. He's a stone-cold killer. Guilty as charged. That may be, but we don't need to be unnecessarily harsh with him, I don't think. He's paying his price. He even confessed. Want to hear his description of what he did? I don't know. I may have to edit this bit out, to be honest. Clear as day, if you ask me. Deserves every vault he's going to get. Uh, long story short, um, his wife got a new girlfriend. Uh, girlfriend? His, his wife got a new boyfriend, and he didn't like it. I won't go into any more than that. And I will also state that this game is for adults, judging by the cutscenes. Um, so, yes, I will make the series suitable for everybody, but the game itself is an adult game. Right. All men deserve forgiveness, even him. Are you so sure in yourself that you can deal out such final judgment? Catching your wife with another man is no excuse for what he did. And he went there with a loaded gun, knowing he'd find them. That's double premeditated murder. He's done nothing but cooperate with the authorities. This state is making an example of him. If he'd committed his crime a hundred miles north, he'd be looking at life imprisonment instead. How is that justice? Do you want a guy like this running free? I'll sleep just fine at night no, when I know he's gone. Very different viewpoints on this. It's a very strong subject. It is definitely a very strong subject. And, well, I come from a country where we don't have um, capital punishment. I, we, we don't have it. He would be serving life in prison. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of with the priest on this. Are you so sure of yourself that you're able to mete out such judgments? But anyway, good work so far. However, there is one problem. The execution room isn't functioning yet because it doesn't have any power. We need to connect it to the electrical supply. Right. Well, that does indeed present a problem. We are now viewing the prison in utilities mode, which shows us the electrical wiring layout for the entire prison. Each building in the prison is connected to the power grid by these thick underground electrical cables. So we've got these right over here. Power is provided to the prison by this substation, which draws electricity from the national grid. Sounds simple enough. So all we got to do is get power all the way through. We have got we got no power over here either. As you can see, this entire wing of prison cells is without power. All the lights are out. To fix this problem, we first need to switch into utilities mode to understand why the lights are without power. Like that. And that would be because we don't have any for the nearest electrical cables are too far away. Our engineers can't complete the wiring for this area. Extend the electrical cables nearby to cover this wing of the prison. Right, so how do we switch to utilities mode? Oh, you just literally click on utilities. Well, even I can cope with that. So I go... Oh, I see. I just need to do that. That's all I need to do. Bring it out that far. There. And run that one down there. Because I suspect that we're going to need that down here as well. That's, that's going to have to join right in... Oop. I can't go around the corner. I've got to go like that, and then up there like that. No, there's no rotation. It just goes like that. That's it. I'm assuming that joins. Connect the, connect the rooms to the electrical supply. Do I have to run these cables in, or do I run the small cables in? Power station, water electrical cable, power switch. Let me switch off of there a minute. Right, we're running these in. Do they automatically connect in the main rooms? Or do I have to connect every single one of them? That's the big question here. Do I have to connect every single one of them? I mean, they're, they're installing these. Progress is coming along quite nicely. There. So what about this cell over here? Once oh, and that, that one there. I got one little bit there that's not been done. I just heard... Did I hear an alarm? I think I heard an alarm of some kind. So where are they coming from with all of this cable? The cable being stored down here or they got it out there by the, the main entrance? 
I don't really know. Oh. Oh no, they, they, they put in a thing of cable there and then they work out from that one as, as they progress. So then if I go into here and I go back to utilities, they've now connected everything up. We've still got some of these that haven't been installed. I got that one there to install and that one to install. It's, it's, they're on their way up. They're coming with it. That one there, he's, he's got to, I'm, I'm still waiting on that one who is all the way down here somewhere. This workman is tired. I'm not surprised considering the reel of cable he's lugging around. That's that's quite impressive. That's good work. Good work, man. Good work. I'm I'm very impressed with you. You're gonna go up there and there he is. He's gonna connect that one in. We're done. Right. All of the cable is now connected all the way through. Incoming call again. So our man is in here. Lights aren't the only thing that needs power. Your new electric chair does too. Use the power cables to connect the execution facility to the power grid. I've already done that. I'm, where, I'm, I'm a step ahead of you, man. I'm a step ahead of you. The electric chair itself is a special type of electrical item. It requires its own dedicated power line. You'll need to connect it up directly with the mains cables. I've done that as well. Yeah, see? I'm way ahead. I'm way ahead. This, that's what you call efficiency, that is. We're almost done, I think. We should test the new execution room at least once before we try to use it, though. I'm just going to turn it on for a few seconds. Make sure everything is okay. Right. Hopefully this is all going to work as intended. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, that didn't work. Looks like we drew too much power and tripped the circuit breaker in the power station. The whole prison is dark. That also means that all the prisoners are going to get out. We're going to need more juice to be able to handle the power spike that the electric chair generates. Means we've got to do some upgrades over here somewhere. First, we need to turn the power back on. This is a two-step process. Switch the power station back on by clicking on it and selecting switch on in the menu that appears. Then build three more capacitors so we have enough power capacity to handle the electric chair. Once you've done that, test the electric chair again by clicking on it and selecting switch on in the menu. Okay, so we go on to here and switch on. Just like that. Now I need to go to utilities in here. Capacitor. Is this a flux capacitor or is this a regular capacitor? I really want this to be a flux capacitor. I'm, I'm saying it is. We're building a flux capacitor here, ladies and gentlemen. We are definitely building a flux capacitor. So I've got some more stuff. That's, that's more. <gasps> that's more bacon. They have so much bacon coming in and out of this place. Well, no, just, just going in. So much bacon going in. Look, these, these poor blokes are tired. They're worn out. They've had a hard day's work, they have. It's hardly surprising. They've definitely had a hard day's work. What else is going on in the facility in here? We've got the chief's office, the foreman's office, and the warden's office in here. He's doing all right for himself. Look at the size of that office. It's got the marble floors and everything in there. That's not bad at all. I'm waiting on one more flux capacitor. Where is it? Oh, it's all the way over there. Let me zoom out a little bit. There he is. There's our man. Workman is installing our flux capacitor. They've obviously just called it a capacitor to you know, save a little bit of time and abbreviate things a little bit. But we know full well that it's a flux capacitor. It's the only one that we can have. And as soon as that is done, then we can go and test the chair again. You can see the power station, the little red mark there. That's coming down and down. That's good. That's what we want. We need it to keep dropping. So you come on in. There we go. Our big butch worker is going to put that one in. And that should drop down to about here somewhere, I would guess. So that gives plenty of capacity then for the chair to work. Oh, it didn't. I thought it might have dropped down further than that. Right, well, we've done that bit over there. So now we can come back over to this side and we can go back to it. That is, like, really weird on the eyes, that is. It's, it's really weird on the eyes. Our workforce is getting a little bit tired, so we're going to let them rest up for a minute. If you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to go and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.